1542 will be careful for the land ones. It's like listening to an auctioneer. Shuttle 7146 at four left. Who's giving away space. United 1542 Bugsy. In the sky. The land four right, right. Sierra four. In on the ground. O'Hare International Airport is the second busiest passenger airport in the world. It might be one of the toughest assignments for air traffic controllers. And as you can well imagine, there's very few times during a given shift at O'Hare where traffic is very low. In the past, new controllers training at O'Hare had to jump right into the mix and practice with real air traffic. When the trainee got behind, so did the planes, causing delays for passengers. Now, O'Hare trainees are practicing on this video game-like simulator first. Whereas here we can say, stop the problem. All right, let's talk about that for a minute. See what you did by doing this? You made this decision and because of that decision, it turned into this, and now we have a problem here. Only four airports, including O'Hare, had access to a simulator like this one. Now the FAA is installing these video training rooms at 19 more airports across the country. Over the next decade, the FAA says it will hire and train more than 15,000 air traffic controllers to replace employees who are expected to retire. So the need for faster, realistic training is paramount. This will help us, hopefully, reduce that overall training time and be able to get people through quicker. Trainees no longer have to wait on Mother Nature to create bad weather for training purposes. Instructors can turn on the winter weather at any time, creating the worst possible scenarios. The FAA expects these simulators will reduce one-third of on-the-job training for air traffic controllers and make them better prepared by the time they step foot in the real control tower. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Chicago O'Hare International Airport.